Hi, and welcome to the Smart Music Teacher YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to hold our bass. Now, before we do that though, if you're not holding your bass, you should have it lying on the ground like this on its side. Um, and make sure that the scroll and the end pin aren't in anybody's way. Um, please don't lean your bass on a chair or on the wall. The safest place is already on the ground. The first thing you need to do is to adjust the end pin at the bottom so that the height of the bridge is about the height of where your hand is, like this. And that will set you up to make sure your bow is in the right place. Um, and the next thing you want to do is make sure you're standing with your feet about shoulder width apart. The back edge of the base is going to sit uh, on the inside of your hip right here. So you want to take the base and bring it towards you so that it's balanced on your hip. So try to balance it and it'll probably stay balanced for a little bit. Now what you want to do is to balance it so that uh, if the base falls, it should fall forward and not backwards. So if it's falling backwards, then you've got an angle too far back, you want to angle it forward a bit. Okay? Um, and that way, your base is always falling into your fingers and into your bow. So that'll help you uh, help make playing easier. And then you'll find that your hands are about level with your face, which is really good. You can see easily. If I turn it around, the back should look like this. And so your foot should be pointing towards the end pin, and your knee just supports the back of the base a little bit. The other foot is about parallel to the base. Now something that uh, beginners do a lot is they place the whole side of their base uh, on their body like this, and that's not going to work because what happens is, there's no room for the bow to go, it's going to hit you. So you have to have it at an angle, just the edge of the instrument on your hip. Now before I let students uh, sit down to play, I always make sure that they have a really good standing posture before they sit down. So make sure you spend lots of time uh, establishing a really good posture um, for your playing technique. So to sit down, what we're going to do is make sure we have a stool at the right height for yourself. And uh, one foot's going to be on the ground, the other foot is on the stool supporting the back of the base. And again, the back edge of the base is contacting you uh, on your hip or at the side. It's important to make sure you don't have the base angle too flat, like a cello, because that's going to make it really hard to reach for the uh, G string. And if you have it angled too far the other way, uh, it's going to make it too hard to play the uh, E string. It's going to bump into you. So make sure you have a good angle and that where you can play each string easily. So that's how you stand and sit with the bass. If you have a bass teacher and they tell you anything different, make sure you listen to them because I'm not. Uh, actually a bass player, um, and also make sure you take the time to establish good posture and good instrument position, because that's going to make it a whole lot easier to learn to play the double bass. The double bass really isn't that hard to play, especially if you make sure you set up properly. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Smart Music Teacher YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video.